What's up guys, mostly Knicks fans here. Um, just finished watching the first NBA preseason game for the Knicks uh, against the Pistons. Obviously, you know, if you watch the game, they pulled it out 90 to 84, which was pretty exciting. So I just want to go through, you know, my thoughts on how the game went, some of the biggest takeaways, biggest headlines, everything else that has to do with the game. So uh, to start, I thought it was pretty interesting choice with the starting lineup. I was surprised that Alec Burke started. I was surprised that Nerlens Noel started. Nerlens Noel started over Mitchell Robinson. They said on the broadcast that, you know, Thibodeau's going to play the players that he thinks are going to help them win the most. So I guess, you know, it wasn't really the most surprising thing in the end that Noel was the one who started. And he also ended up playing pretty well. He had 10 points and five rebounds. Another notable thing about the game was RJ Barrett's performance. He started off looking pretty shaky. He went 0 for 6 to start the game. He ended up finishing with 15 points. I think he went 6 for his next 8 from the field after that rough start. So it's good to see that, you know, his confidence didn't get depleted and he was able to bounce back from a little bit of adversity early on in the game. A couple other solid performances for the Knicks came off the bench by uh, Dennis Smith Jr. and Frank Nilakina, who had 7 points each. They both played really solid defense and were pretty efficient from the field. I gotta say, Dennis Smith Jr. did try to force a few passes in there to the paint, but overall he looked pretty sharp, especially from what we saw last year. The big story for the Knicks tonight has to have been the debut of Obi Toppin. He was the only one of the three Knicks rookies to play, but he was pretty impressive. He had 11 points and seven rebounds, played 27 minutes, and he did have, I think, four fouls but he looked really comfortable out there on the floor. He didn't force too many shots. He, like I said, was pretty active on the glass, seven rebounds, a pretty exciting performance. He had that one highlight dunk, which I'm sure you saw on either Bleacher Report or Sports Center on Instagram. So things are looking up there. Some things I would have liked to see for the game, I would have liked to see um, Emmanuel quickly get into the game or even Miles Powell. Neither of them logged a single minute in the game. But like I said, Thibodeau is known for playing the veterans. He wants to get as many different combinations for the regular season into games now. He's only got three more games now to try to solidify a rotation. So it makes sense that certain guys played over other guys today. I think the biggest takeaway from this game, even though the Knicks won, is that they still have a lot of things to work on. They were sloppy shooting the ball. They definitely forced too many turnovers. But at this, on the flip side, their defense was really good. They played hard the whole game. They took advantage of the young guys that they have on their team, which is something that you like to see them do. The Knicks have no players on their roster over the age of 30, so it's good to see them get out and run, attack the basket, pick and rolls, um, tip-ins, putbacks, all that good stuff. So it, it was a very promising first game. I don't want to overreact especially because the opponent was the Pistons, who looked pretty sloppy, even though it was a six-point game. Uh, the last thing I'll say is that they were up 18 at one point in the second half, and they did let it get close. It was good to see uh, Julius Randle try to close out the game. RJ Barrett had a nice basket down the stretch. So, you know, we, they got to see what guys are going to help close out these games, and not they don't, want, they don't need to be one of those teams that blows um, leads when they're already winning late in the game.